Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Hello all the barbecue friends out there. Today, we got a great cook planned. We're gonna be doing one of my favorites, the beef ribs. We're gonna be cooking this on the Louisiana Grills SL1000 right here. We're gonna load up some pellets, prepare the meat. Let's get this started. We're gonna be using these hardwood pellets, competition blend. We'll fill up the hopper. Okay, we'll start this up. We're gonna cook this at 275 degrees. Now let's prepare our meat. We got this beautiful cut of beef ribs here. About four bones in there. Lots of meat. Okay, I got this at my local meat store. We're gonna start off with a little Worcestershire sauce. Bit of a binder. Rub that in. Okay, when I do beef, I love this steak rub from Killer Hogs. So we're gonna use that for our dry rub. Wrap this up loosely here. We'll wait for the barbecue to come up to temperature, then we'll put the meat on. Okay, the grill's reached our 275 temperature here. Let's get that meat on there. Now there's no real hot or cool place on this grill. It's all pretty even heat with that air circulation going around. So this should be a pretty good cook. So because of that air circulation and consistent temperature through this grill, it's gonna be a much different cook than what I normally am used to on the Kamado here. The Kamado gives you a nice even temperature, but it's a little hard to regulate the temperature or smoke or clean burn. Where this, you always get a clean burn, you always get that air circulation. So I'm looking forward to developing a really nice crust on here. So we'll check back in about three hours or so, see where we're at see what we got to do next so we'll see you then so the beef rib is just a great tasting piece of meat it's got a lot of intermuscular fat the meat's also very tough so the best way to render down that meat is a nice low and slow cook now some people will put this in a pot with some beef broth and really just render that down slowly a lot of that flavor comes from that crust that forms when you barbecue it especially in a good smoker like this so it's my first time cooking beef ribs on this and I'm really looking forward to the results. So you're this far into the video, I'd appreciate if you click that like button, click that subscribe. I know some of you might not make it to the end of the video because I'm just going to stuff my face with this. But I just enjoy the taste test part. Okay, we are at the three hour mark to this cook. So I'm anxious to look, see what's going on. I'll bring you in with me. Oh wow, look at that. You can see all that bone pull happening there. See a little bit of pooling of some fat rendering down. Okay, now we'll take my thermometer here. Quite a bit of meat on that bone too, so. Just want to probe it here. It's still pretty tough. We want that thing, that probe to go in nice and loose. See, I really got to push that to get it to go in. You can see we're 165. Like I say, we're going to bring this around 200 or so. Let's close her up for now. So I'm really happy with the way that crust is forming. You can see our fat rendering down. So we just need to continue this cook just the way it's going right now. Get that meat nice and soft. So we'll come back maybe in an hour or so. We'll see how that's uh, coming along. In the meantime, check our pellet hopper here. Okay, it's been uh, three hours in our cook here and the pellet hopper, I could just start to see the top of the flight on the 
auger. So I'll top up this. So we'll top up with pellets here. We'll let this go at least another hour and I'll check back with you. Okay, we're at the four hour mark here. So let's open this up and check it out. Wow, these are just looking beauty here. We'll do a quick probe check, temperature check, and we'll see where we're at here. Okay, you can see there's a lot less meat at this end here, so let's just, oh, that's getting pretty, that's really soft there. Oh yeah, we're, we're 200 there. Let's go to the other side. It's softer, but still getting a little firm there. Oh yeah. Okay, from that probing and the temperature readings, you can see we're almost done at the one end, but we still got more cooking to go at the other. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I think right now I'm gonna wrap it. That's just gonna help everything cook even. But it also gives me an opportunity to add a little bit of flavor. I want to do add some butter on top. Add a little more Worcestershire sauce. down so again this is just gonna help level out that temperature we'll let this go for like another hour and then we'll see where we're at from there so we need to open this up and check it out okay we'll loosely open our foil here see all that sitting there and there nicely wow does that ever smell good okay let's get our probe Okay, and then we'll put it in here. Oh, it's much softer now. Yeah, 182. Try this in here. Yep. Yeah, well, under 200 there, but. One eighty two. We're still got some time to go along here. So we wrap that back up. We're gonna check back in another hour and then we'll see where we're at again. Okay, the cook's coming really nice. I'm really happy with the smell from that meat. The tenderness is getting softer. Overall, I think the cook's going perfect. We're gonna need another hour here. So we'll come back in an hour and we'll check it out. Okay, we're now at six hours of cooking time. We're gonna open this up, check it out, decide what to do next. Okay, let's unwrap this a little bit. Oh man, again, the smell from this is just amazing. Oh man, okay, this is probing really nice. Look at, especially here, it's just so soft. little bit cooler here but you know what this end is so nice and ready but we still need a little bit more here I think we're gonna go one more half hour cooking then we're gonna pull this off we're six and a half hours into the cook we're gonna pull this off let him rest then we'll come back for the taste test. Okay, we got this all done here. Let's cut it up and see what we got. You can see we got the nice bone pole coming out here. The smell off of here is just amazing. Wow, look at that. 
so juicy and nice. So these came off absolutely amazing. See that nice smoke ring on there. Nice and juicy in the middle. We gotta take a piece off of here and try it. So this has fallen off the bone here. We gotta try this. Mmm. Wow, I got a good bite. Such a tasty rib. So we're like six and a half hours at 275. I think we wrapped about four hours in. So two and a half hours wrap. Could be wrong. But what a phenomenal job. You can see throughout this cook, sometimes you gotta adapt to what's going on. Like one end was finished, the other still needed cooking, so I decided to wrap. You definitely taste that seasoning right on the outside. The inside's so soft and moist. Boy, just beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe to see the next cook. We got some great stuff planned. And we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg.